as a tree. Hi everyone, welcome back. It is almost springtime and I can't wait. So today we're going to be making some flowers. I love flowers, just like people, they come in all different shapes and sizes. They are gorgeous. Every flower is an absolute artwork, but they are also super, super special because flowers provide valuable nectar to bees as well as pollen that is essential for the reproduction of plants. So flowers, like most people, are super special and gorgeous. So the flowers we're going to be making look like this. How cute are they? So these are two flowers that I made earlier and all you need to make these beauties are paper rolls, you know the paper, the inner, what do you call them, the tube, the inner tube from toilet paper, um, three different colors marker, scissors, glue stick or craft glue, um, a skewer or a stick or a twig, twigs that you pick up outside um, actually look really really nice and natural with your flowers so any stick or skewer or thin dowel that you've got lying around the house recycle 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 um, anything like that um, some bottle caps if you've got um, paint I've got my paint blocks and water and a paint brush and then I've got some stickers and just pieces of colored paper for decorating now we're going to start with the first color marker and our roll. So what you do is you need to draw a line down the center of your roll all the way around. Doesn't need to be perfect. So just, you know, sort of gauge it with your eye where you've kind of got the center. Okay, it's going to look like that. Right. And then with our second color, we are going to draw two lines around each, on, on each side of our center line all around. And they need to be the same distance or equidistant from your center line. So once again, it doesn't need to be perfect. It's just a guideline. So let me show you. There's number one. And let's do the second one. All around all around here we go so, right we've got our center line with two lines running alongside now with our third color we are going to draw lines from my little red line to the end like so maybe you can see them and we're going to do it all around on both sides. Um, try to put them um, not too close together. Don't put them too close together. Because these will be your petals. And if you put them too close together, then they tend to tear off. Um, especially after you've painted them. So both sides. We are going to do the green lines. Or whatever third color you've got there all around all around once again they don't need to be perfect there you go so it's gonna look something like this can you see there yeah all around now you take your scissors and you're gonna cut on the green line from the end down to the red line don't go over the second line. All right, you don't want to cut all the way to the center. Um, you're going to cut to the red, red line there. Take our scissors and we cut all around. Okay, try not to cut over that first line of yours. These are going to be up petals Oops. Okay. so they are all cut and you do the second side as well the bottom
Right, all done. And now we need to make a hole for our little skewer or stick to go in. And I'm going to use an empty cutter. You can use your scissors or a sharp knife, any, anything sharp. Um, and just on the blue line, your center line, anywhere, you're just going to make a hole. Whoops. Um, or mommy and daddy can do it if, if um, you're not comfortable. Alrighty then. And then just make sure your little stick fits. Okay. Now we're going to start with our petals and we're going to bend them back. So you've cut them on the, up to the red line. So they should bend on or before the red line. So just try and do it as neatly as possible. And just bend them all back like that. All the way. So we've got our first part of the flower and you the other side as well just bend it back on your line like so all around all around and there's your flower and if you put your little stick in, ta-da! Now we get to the fun part. Painting and decorating. You can paint it or you can use cookies or markers or sharpies or whatever you've got around the house. And um, you need to decorate your petals. So I'm going to do orange. Because why not? Orange is such a lovely, happy, vibrant color. So I'm going to paint all my petals my color that I want. You can obviously make them 20 different colors if you want. It doesn't have to be one color. This is your little flower. You can paint it any way, any, any, any way you want, any color you want. got orange on the one side and I think on the other side I'm gonna do purple I'm going really really fast um, you don't have to go this fast you can take your time and paint it I just want to show you the next step as well. Okay. Ta-da! So I've got purple and orange. And then remember to paint this inside as well. So with that one, we're going to go with green, all down this little middleman, I don't know what you call it, middleman inside, and the back of the petals. See how pretty that looks. If the stick is in the way, you can take it off the stick to paint it. I find that it helps um, since the petals are wet. It just helps me to hold it. That sneeze was um, one of my dogs. Yeah, I'm a doggy mom. So yeah, that's sorry about that. That sneeze is one of my babies, my fur babies. I am almost done with the green. I want to rush, but also do a good job. <laughs> that doesn't always go together, rushing and doing a good job. Good job. So. 
take it off quickly and I'm always up. You know it looks really cute on the petals that I don't know how to pronounce it. That is it wasi tape? You know that colored sticky tape that you've got? You can stick that on um, as well. Um, I've seen ones that they made with um, some of our crafters has made with um, paper that they got from magazines that they stuck on that looked really really cute as well. So take my stick back, just open it up again and oops once it dries your petals will stay where they should. So there is my flower but now We've got a hole in the center that I would like to cover up. Um, what you can use is a bottle cap, um, but my bottle caps are a little too small, as you can see. They don't fit. So you've got nice big bottle caps, stick that on there, or um, a polystyrene, you know, the polystyrene balls that you cut it in half, stick that on there. Um, mine is also too small, go figure. Um, so what I did is I've got these scraps of paper. So I'm going to show you how to make a little insert with, with that, with my scraps of paper. You can find nice paper from magazines. Um, you can use wrapping paper. You can use white paper and paint it. So I've got these neon scraps and I'm going to use this. So put it upside down on your table. And I take my flower off the stick. And I'm going to take one of my markers and then I draw the, a circle. I basically trace the inside of my flower on the paper. Two of those. So, I'll show you. Okay. So, this is the inside of my flower that I just traced with the cokey. Now, I'm going to take my scissors and just going to cut it off to make it more manageable. So I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut alongside this. Okay, wait. I'm going to use a cookie. Let's do this first. And I'm going to draw a second circle all around the first one. Doesn't need to be perfect. It's just sort of a guideline. So let's do this one as well. So then we know it's bigger than the hole in the center and it will fit on my little flower okay so there i've got my little circles so now i'm going to cut on the red line which is better so you don't have to guess where you have to cut so cut it up on the line one let's do the second one little circles obviously you can do different colors um, and then what I like to do is I cut into this up to the green line not past the green line preferably just sort of score it all the way around up to the green line all the way around you can see it looks like this. And we're done. Okay, do the second one. All around up to your little center circle. Doesn't need to be perfect. Okay, and then I want two stickers. Let's see. Yes, I'm going to use yellow. I pre-cut my stickers into little uh, little pieces, usually of three, because um, I find crafting with um, little ones, it helps. Um, you give them the little thingy with the three stickers and they don't mess up the whole roll and it's just easier to handle. Right, so 
I'm going to put a little yellow one on the center of each of my circles. There. I'm going to take our glue and put lots of glue on the back of our little papers. And this goes onto the flower. Now this is a bit tricky because you can't press in the center or your little your little thingy goes into the flower. So you have to press it all around. Press it all around. Don't press it in the center because then it goes into the hole. So press it all around. Okay. Let's do the other one. Glue all around. Enough glue all around. And stick it on. Also, your flower should be fairly dry. So if the if the paint is still wet, maybe just wait a little bit before you stick it on. So yeah, all around like so. And then we put back our little twig or stick. And there we go. A little flower. So once it dries, I'd like to just sort of lift up the cut edges just a little bit, just to give it some movement. Like so. Ta-da! And there you've got a beautiful bouquet of flowers, just in time for spring. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a lovely, lovely day. Um, I've got an occupational write-up, an occupational therapist write-up for this class. Um, if you're doing this class with kids, there is so much you can do. You can um, work on your senses. You can do a, a, a what do you call it? Your, you can play seeing games. You know, I spy and then do different colors because we're working with colors. We can work on color recognition. And you can also play a smelling game because um, flowers smell nice. And then you can talk about what do you like? What kind of smells do you like? You know, freshly baked cookies or pizza or mommy's perfume. And they, your kitties can name the things they like. And you can also do a little blindfold game where you have them smell different things. You know, a bar of soap and mommy's perfume and maybe... Um, something that doesn't smell so nice uh, maybe a little vinegar or you know something that they might not recognize or they might recognize um, and then maybe an orange anything you've got lying around the house so there's a really really fun craft to do with kitties and you can bring in all the senses into it as well and make it really fun and educational which is what I love about crafts so if you want a copy of the Occupational Therapist Writer, drop me a mail and I will gladly send it to you. Um, and please do post some um, photos of your flowers. You can email it to me or you can go and post it on your Facebook page. Um, the links is in our bio if you want it. And thank you for watching. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye. There was a tree All in the wood the prettiest little tree